What up guys, my name's Dart and welcome to my Clan Wars series. And in this video I'm going to show you how to destroy the Mataki bases, or Meta bases as they're known for short. So these are incredibly popular at the moment, particularly among the elite Town Hall 9 War Clans. Um, they look like this, and uh, they're very very strong, they're anti 3 star bases, basically. They're asymmetric designs, this, this kind of plan will work versus all asymmetric, asymmetrically designed bases. Their biggest strength is also essentially the, the weakness of the base too, and that is that they're very spread out. So they're very hard to lure the clan castle, the queen's central, there's lots of places you can hide double bombs around, but that means that you can also take the base apart section by section. Uh, effectively, you don't need to worry about all the defences on this side of the base because it's so big they can't reach you if you attack on this side. But what that means is your planning has to be very specific. So the best kind of attack to do versus the Mataki bases is a go lava attack. And when creating the army, what you need to work out is how many air defences you can take out. If you can only take one air defence out, then only take one golem. If you can take two, then you can take two golems. The point is, you always need one more lava hound than the base will have air defences at the end of the, uh, the golem section. So once you've sent the golems in and the heroes and the wizards and whatever, however many air defences are left, you need one more lava hound than that. Um, so let's get into the attack. <laughs> now, the, this is a first for me. Um, this attack, actually, the one I'm going to show you, isn't a three-star. And I don't think I've shown any attacks that I've done on my channel yet that haven't been three stars. Um, but it's kind of a... It's, a, it's an opportunity for me to show you guys me failing, uh, but learning something from it, I suppose. And that's sort of the point of my channel anyway. It's not to show you guys what I can three-star, because who really cares about that? It's sort of to show you guys stuff that I've learned or, or things that we can learn together. And I think this, this attack is a really good way of, um, of explaining how to beat Metaki bases. That was my mistake, by the way. You saw just then, I, I, I've got wizards which went in here at the start. I forgot three. One of them's already dead. I forgot three right. Uh, right at that point, and I, I dropped them all in. But by that point, they'd already we'd already cleared out this this compartment, and so they went for the cannon. They didn't go inside. If they'd gone inside, they'd have killed that air defense, and it would have been game over basically. Um, but they forgot. So stupid wizards die fighting a cannon. Cannons don't shoot balloons. Idiots. Um, but now I'm I'm panicking because I can see my queen is is alive. She's already taking damage, and that air defense isn't even getting targeted yet. The king's still wandering around. Um, so, Queen does her best, but can't recover from my stupidity. So right now I'm I'm worried. <laughs> In fact, actually, I almost quit the raid, because I've got three air defences left, and I've only got three hounds. Um, so what I'm going to show you, basically, is was my recovery, was how I adapted to that mid-raid. I was going to attack from the top, instead I had to attack from the bottom. But I almost still got there. I nearly came back. And the reason for that is because the next trick I want to show you guys is, is really how to how to do go lava. I think it's the most efficient way. So I'm going to drop a hound down here, drop it as far away from an air defense as possible so he has to go all the way across the map, and then you drop balloons in behind the hound. So the balloons follow along. You can see none of them are taking any damage because all of the fire is focusing on the hound. By the time the defenses turn around, it's too late. So I dropped the other hounds in. One went in at this corner to cover these balloons, and then one went in up here to cover these ones put a rage down to get the balloons into the air defense really quick. And this is actually going better than I thought it would at this point. I drop a, a second rage in. Um, and even though I've got one extra air defense, the base is a third stronger than I was hoping. I'm still getting there. If that air defense hadn't been there, if I hadn't forgotten those wizards, the base was over. It was so done. Um, but I did forget it. And so somehow... I managed to get down to that air defense and still killed it. And so now, I mean, obviously we're going to we're going to get all the defenses down because there's nothing left to stop us. <laughs> I was I was excited at this point. I really thought this was going to be the best raid I'd ever done. I thought it was going to be the best comeback, but spoiler, I didn't get those two um those two barracks. But basically the only reason that I I got close to it, the only reason I ended up on the 98% is because of the way that hound works. So he distracts all of the defences while you take them out. As I said, you take the base apart section by section. If I'd thrown all the hounds and the balloons in all in one go, I'd have, I'd have crashed and burned, basically. So um, I'm going to show you another one. This was the other attack I did. I did get one three-star. Um, 
So in goes six ogs. I noticed at the start that there's no space for a Tesla in there. And so that archer tower was going to lead straight to that air defense. Some of the Mataki bases, because they're asymmetric, some of them have weaknesses in. And this design, this, the, this guy played around with the defenses and he'd messed it up. So if you see that, analyze them really carefully. If you see sort of a short jump like that, then go ahead and take out that, that air defense. Because now I've got four hounds left. I've got four hounds and there's only, obviously, there's only three air defenses left. So first, the hound goes in up here. As I said, as far away as I can get, because I took out this air defense, so far away as I can, he's going to go all the way along and I just drop the balloons around the top. So in goes the next hound. Basically, you want to work in either a clockwise, a clockwise um, uh, formation or an anti-clockwise formation. You want to follow all the way around. Don't sort of skip and jump around. So the two rages on the two air defenses to get them down. That frees up the hound. He's almost full health, and he heads across to sit on that air defense. I've got a ton of balloons left. Everything's looking great, but oops, the queen is still alive. I've got a level 25 queen wandering around, which isn't ideal. And for a second, I was really worried about her. I thought she was going to mess the raid up, but um, fortunately, those <laughs> those clan castle archers, which I didn't manage to kill, pop the hound, and then the pups get the queen. So that's it, basically. The um, the strongest attack versus meta bases is uh, is Golava, or some variation of Golava. This was a whole lava, I suppose, with the hogs. Um, take out at least one air defense. Make sure you have one more hound than the base is going to have air defenses at the end, and then drop the hounds from the furthest possible spot and attack the base in sequence. So you just do one section at a time. Okay then guys, I really hope that helps. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If, um, if you're not a subscriber, then go ahead and subscribe. And until the next time, Happy clashing.